Well, 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 the photo op in North Korea between Kim Jong-un and Donald Trump, President of the United States, Donald Trump, has flopped. No deal. No deal. Trump and Kim Jong-un cut summit short with lunch still on the table. Over. The photo op is over. Is that all it was, a photo op? I don't know. Kim Jong-un cut summit short. Trump and Kim Jong-un cut summit short with no deal made. Damn. The Vietnam summit between Donald Trump and North Korean president, leader, Kim Jong-un was abruptly cut short Thursday after the two leaders could not come to an agreement on denuclearization of the Korean peninsula. Both men were expected to sit down for lunch at the Mabababa Hotel in Hanai, Hanoi before taking part in the joint agreement signing ceremony. But the summit was suddenly called to an end as both teams packed up, got into their respective motorcades, and left. Trump then appeared at a press conference about 2.20 uh, local time, about 2.20 a.m. New York time, and said, We had a really productive time. We had some options. At this time, we decided not to do any of the options. He concluded sometimes, he concluded, sometimes you have to walk. You could have done this through a Skype call. You had to go all the way to fucking Vietnam. Trump and Kim were expected to arrive for a working lunch at the uh, hotel about uh, 12.35 p.m., um, but the lunch was scrapped with the menus already printed and food prepared. Damn. Well, see, give it to the fucking Vietnamese people, man, right? <laughs> send, it to, send it to Venezuela. Uh, fucking Israeli. We paid for it, right? Send it as part of the, you know. A press conference scheduled uh, for 3.50 p.m. local time was moved to 2 p.m. as reporters scrambled at the Marriott in Hanoi where Trump uh, joined Secretary of State Pompeo to issue his remarks. Uh, if I'm not willing to do that, this is, if I'm not, this is Trump, I'm not willing to do that, I wouldn't be there right now. I wouldn't be there. It's just, he's, so let's look at some of his comments. Let's look at some of his comments. Donald Trump. Oh, Donald Chairman Trump. Chairman Kim, we had a really, uh, I think, a very productive time. We thought, and I thought, and Secretary Pompeo felt that it wasn't a good thing to be signing anything. I'm going to let Mike speak about it. But we literally just left. We spent pretty much all day with uh, Kim Jong-un, who is, uh, he's quite a guy and quite a character. And uh, I think our relationship is very strong. But at this time, we had some options, and at this time, we decided not to do any of the options. And we'll see where that goes. But it was uh, it was a very interesting two days. And I think, actually, it was a very productive two days. But sometimes you have to walk. And uh, this was just one of those times. And I'll let Mike uh, speak to that for a couple of minutes, please. So... So that's that one. Check this out. President of North Korea, the uh, leader See, of North Korea, actually wanted the sanctions of the United Nations sanctions on Pyongyang entirely lifted. And will it, it was about third, the sanctions. Will we there be a third summit, Mr. President? Basically, uh, they wanted the sanctions lifted in their entirety, and we couldn't do that. They were willing to denuke a large portion of the areas that we wanted, but we couldn't give up all of the sanctions for that. Donald Trump said that he could not... So no deal, no deal, no deal. Damn, fuck you. Trump flopped. Did Trump flop on his big, his big uh, denuclearize North Korea? No, he made a friend. He went over there, he made a friend. Right? Oh, he fucking loves this guy. He loves a dictator. He loves Kim Jong-un. Oh, how... How obedient his audience is. Damn, they jump up to their feet. When Kim Jong-un walks into the room, he's the supreme leader. Is that what Trump likes about him? Or did Trump go over there to, to, to take notes to see how he can turn people into, you know, fucking how he could become a supreme leader? Trump's interested in that shit, right? Is that, was that the cause? Is that the cause? So another fucking how many millions of dollars and billions of dollars Big waste of time in North Korea. Was there anything? 
No, because the guy's not going to give up his nukes. He's not going to disarm. You got you're sanctioning the country. You're choking them, right? You got twenty eight thousand troops on the on the border in South uh, South Korea, right? You got nuclear warheads parked in in aircraft carriers off the coast. You think the guy's going to de nuke for you? No deal. What? What was your deal? You de nuke and you have to trust us not to blow you up. Right? That's not a deal. Right? That's not a fucking deal because the United States has lost credibility. They lo- were losing credibility, and and you could point to the latest venture in Venezuela. Mike Pompeo is negotiating peace deals. Like like it, Mr. CIA is fucking trustworthy. Fuck you, Marcus Conti reporting.